Hi, my name is Andrew McMillan, and I run a company called Fountainhead Ventures. We're based in Harrogate, North Yorkshire, and we concentrate primarily on residential and conversion for the domestic market in the UK. We're currently working on a really interesting project. It's called Church Farm, uh, just on the edge of Harrogate, uh, north about six miles from the center of town. It's located in South Stanley, and the thing that makes it unique as opposed to a lot of our other projects is it is predominantly new build, and for the first time ever, we're using a product called SIPs. What are SIPs? Mm -hmm. SIPs, or structural insulated panels, oh. are a great way of achieving a super insulated airtight home. It's a very unusual site. Uh, we purchased it with outline planning for nine houses, two conversions, and seven new build. The interesting thing of it is that it had a vacant building credit, which meant that we could tear down these old, modern agricultural structures, and in their place, we could build seven brand new buildings, and we're very fortunate with the planning that we um, were able to design very modern structures in addition to the two barn conversions on the site. It's uh, almost four acres, 3.68 acres. Uh, typically on a site of that size, you would see anywhere from 30 to 50 houses being built by a volume builder. Uh, we're restricted to nine units, which means uh, we can build large structures. We can build these structures um, with very large footprints as opposed to multiple stories. Um, we've worked very closely with the planning department to design something that's a little bit outside of the normal structures you would see in a rural village. So we're not building cottages out of stone, we're not doing barn conversions, although there are two. Uh, but of course for this film, the primary reason that we are talking about our seven new build is because we have designed them in a very modern fashion, in some, what some people would call Scandi style. They look very much like a historical barn structure, and they're simple with gable ends, and yet the construction methods that we're going to be using are very cutting edge. So we will be building the structure of these seven new buildings uh, out of SIPs, which are structural insulated panels. Essentially, it is insulation that is sandwiched in between two oriented strand boards. That's an OSB3 board. Three designates that it's moisture resistant. Oriented strand board is a very structurally sound product. That is used um, on either side of an of a insulation core to give you this SIP panel. There are two main reasons uh, to build out of SIPs. The first one is it's just a lot quicker. They can manufacture two houses a week uh, in a manufacturing facility where they actually cut up all the components, the panels, to create everything that goes into each house. And each crew installation crew can erect a house every two to three weeks. The second reason is because of the green credentials associated with SIPs. SIPs are often used for passive houses for this reason. Um, they have a very low air porosity infiltration, uh, 15 times lower than standard methods of construction. And of course that's important because about 40% of any heat loss in a home is lost through air infiltration. You think all OSB is basically the same? Well, you'd be surprised. The other aspect is the materials that are used. Oriented strand board uses 85 to 90 percent of the log as opposed to a lot of standard stick built structures. Uh, and the other thing is, contrary to what a lot of people think about this type of rigid insulation, is that only about two percent of it is plastic, the rest of it is air. Something to keep in mind with this process when you're using SIPs panels is that typically the design process is much more complex. Not only do you need your own architect and engineer, but then you'll be introducing to the project the SIPs technician and their engineer. Once it's designed by our architect, we uh, would then go and find a contractor to use 
and then it would be 3D modeled and further designed by their own in-house designer. So very quickly, we knew that we had to make sure and select the right contractor to part with, partner with. Ruined it right at the end. Son of a bitch. So after a lot of research, um, we decided on a fairly local company, a company called Sips at Clay's, based out of Skipton, North Yorkshire. They have about 16 years of experience. They started doing this in 2003. They're probably one of the bigger, most experienced uh, SIPs manufacturers slash installers uh, in the north of England. We met with them and very quickly we could tell from their design team and their manufacturing facilities that they really knew what they were doing. I'm here with Ian Clay of SIPs at Clay, uh, based out of Skipton. We're here at their factory and we're just gonna have a little look around and he's gonna tell us a little bit about what they do here. I'll start off by kind of maybe um, telling you what I remember from our last little tour. Okay. But, um, so you get these panels in from Kingsman. We get panels in varying lengths, um, for anything from 4.8 meters long up to 7.5 meters long. The panels are made at Sherbin and Elmet, just outside Selby. The, um, the panel itself is made on a continual line. Uh, whereby the, 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 the foam there starts off as a, a liquid. It gets very, very hot. So the, the, the OSB is moving along the line. This gets pumped between the two sheets of OSB. Uh, it gets very, very hot and expands. During that process, there's a bonding takes place between the foam and the OSB, and it's called autohesively bonded. So it becomes very, very strong, um, the bond formed there. These panels, can technically be manufactured by anybody. But it was important that we use a panel that was BBA certified and that uh, had the weight of a fairly big name behind them in terms of their warranty and their experience in manufacturing a product such as this. Clays only use Kingspan Tech panels. Kingspan, which is obviously a very common uh, name familiar in England, uh, for being a manufacturer of this extruded polyurethane foil-backed type insulation. They use a process for bonding that virtually eliminates any issues around delamination. So that was really important to us because of course these structures have got to last for a hundred years and we're going to be responsible for going back and attending any warranty issues. After we got the initial price back, uh, we then uh, went with the architect uh, to meet the, their designers so that we could uh, work through uh, a number of the elements that were clashing uh, with each other in terms of our design uh, versus the limitations of the SIPS design. Uh, they're not necessarily limitations, um, but oftentimes you've got to find solutions so that you can keep those aspects of your design. And that's what's so essential in using a company that has a lot of experience in designing in this product, is because they know what you can achieve uh, using their products and what you can't and you need to look for alternatives. It goes up and down there. Oh. Have a steel right. So how, thick is, how thick yeah. is that then? That's 360, which is the same, which what I've done in the past is architects who want this look on the end want yeah. it to be the same thickness all the way around so okay. it was my thought that if those beams are going to be 360 you put those in a 360 and then your, your details are very similar then for, for finishing it off okay once the design is complete they make a set of cutting drawings send it to the guys in the workshop and off they go so how quickly will you once you have the cutting drawings how quickly can you produce all the panels for a house uh, we can do two to three houses a week in here, depending on the size Jeez. and the complexity of it. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, fully, we can fully fly through it. And then what is it, two, three weeks on site? Or? Yeah, two, a couple of weeks for an average house. You know, bigger houses tend to be a little bit longer than that, but, but yeah. And how many guys do you have in here? Uh, there's about seven on the shop floor, and then there's, there's Darren, who's a partner in the business, and, and Stefan, who, who's a CAD designer. So and two then how many, designers and so you've got ten guys in this in, the, in, in this here, unit say. working here, and then there's there's two or three teams of fitters. And how many in a fitting team? Yeah, uh, two, three, four, just depending. Right. Um, we're on with a big job at York at the minute, and there's four fitters on site there. Aside from talking about SIPs, and obviously we're going to cover uh, a lot more to do with SIPs in future episodes, but there's also three other aspects um, that we hope to cover uh, during filming. 
standing seam roofs and concealed gutters and downpipes. Katnik is uh, now manufacturing a new product for use in these methods. We'll talk a little bit about that. Also, exposed aggregates, um, using exposed aggregates for walkways, patios, that sort of thing, which is used in the States quite a bit. And thirdly, the use of formed concrete for basements and for dwarf walls. Not something that's commonly used over here, uh, but we're going to touch on that and show you methods around that and how it works out on site, because um, we think you'll be interested in that as well. You may be wondering why we're doing this and what we want to get from this. I think when I was looking at using some of these methods and products, I struggled to find uh, a source that really could illustrate every aspect of of using the product, what I needed to know about it, and something I think people fail to realize, uh, even working in construction for 25 years, is you're always learning, you're always finding out about, out about new things. If you don't do that, if you're not learning and reading and, and um, trying new things, you'll still be building the same old product that they have been for the last hundred years, and people are still doing that today. So. If you get excited about new things, if you want to do something different, I think you can get a lot out of this. So if any of that stuff sounds of interest, please hit the subscribe button and come back and check out more of our videos. The reason we've decided to use SIPs are for two. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> <Not> for two. <laughs>